It's week nine of the National Football League. And we'll get a look here at Devontae Adams. He stuffed the stat sheet in last week's action, nearly 190 yards. It's the Raiders and the Jags. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State at TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. Today it's a week nine matchup set to go here between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Jaguar team. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And how about that defense last week? They pitched a shutout, and it's really more like a no-hitter because they absolutely dominated that game from the opening whistle. On the other side of the field for the visiting Raiders, they come in on a good run, winners of five of their last seven. And last week, they put together a three-touchdown victory and were never challenged in that game. Let's see if they have a little bit of a letdown here. of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? This fielded right at the goal line. And look at this. Right away, a loose football. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. So that a nightmarish start to a football game as they give the ball away on the opening kickoff. And they put their defense in a bind right away. They have to go into protect mode. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And an early how do you do right there as they're going to bury him in the backfield. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one by the line of scrimmage. Crowd getting in and a bit already. Here's an early third and ten. Card out of throw. And that's going to be caught for a Raider touchdown. Devontae Adams with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Raiders need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. The coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Jacksonville's offense trots out here for the first time, and all eyes go right to number 16. Now in his second season as the team's face of the franchise, Trevor Lawrence. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. The numbers on the ground for ETN last week. Six carries, 70 yards, and a touchdown. They're coming off the back-to-back -back wins, and I think a lot of credit belongs to this guy right here because, to me, he's not only carried his weight, he's carried a few other guys along as well. He's helped draw defensive attention away from not just him, but open things up for his teammates, too. So if this winning streak is going to continue to have some legs to it, he has to remain effective and put together another nice game. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. And how about this, a fake? And this is caught. The fake punt works to absolute perfection. And the Jaguars' decision to go for it pays off with six points. 
A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So they catch him napping a bit. They go with a fake punt, able to get it out complete, and then take it all the way into the end zone for six points. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback. And yeah, they'll begin at the 25. Marching back onto the field now, Devontae Adams and company getting set to go. That's really been a blistering start to the season for him so far. He's on pace to blow past 1,000 yards. The good receivers, it's interesting, though. You put extra coverage on them. They probably view that as a challenge. All right, I'm going to go after this. You put one guy on them, then they feel disrespected. And they want to take so how, how do you cover him? You're exactly right. That's an insult, right, especially the year that he's having. But I just have to go ahead and not – I'm not going to insult him. I'm going to respect him. I'm sending as many people as possible. But one of the reasons he's having this type of a start is despite that type of coverage, he finds a way to what we call uncover late. Ball's thrown. Even though there's coverage there, he's the one who can go up and come down with it, finds a way to get to the football. And the offensive line has given them time in the pocket to have that uncovering late. Carr going to give it to Jacobs. And strong running there as he's across midfield and down to the 49. Now, hang on. We got an injured player down there. Oh, boy, that's Odell Beckham Jr., OBJ, who's hurting. Hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. Uh, he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards, the final tally. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Devin Lloyd brings him down, and that's a play he's going to remember. The first sack of his NFL career. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multi-tap under pressure, and they got to him again. Drop for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. So after the sack, Carr in Las Vegas with a third and long. They'll set up a throw. Able to find Walner. That's complete. Touchdown, Raiders. Darren Walner, 38 yards. And the Raiders have taken the lead. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets a head of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that. Carlson on for the PAT. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. And they'll accept that penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. First down now, but that clock rolling. That's good for a Jaguars. 
And one more time, here's Kirk. They'll get it inside the 20. Touchdown, Jaguars! Christian Kirk, 56 yards. And the Jags are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. About to nearly 30 minutes of football. That touchdown puts us in a position where if they make the extra point, we're right back to even before we start the second half. Extra point try now for Patterson. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all out and up at 14. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a little under a minute to play, they may be looking to pick up some yardage here, maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission. Going down the middle, and it's complete. There he goes, right side. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Carr now on first down. Working the middle here. That's complete to Moreau, the tight end. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Working from the gun, it's Carr. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. When we talk with people about what we think the most important quality for an NFL quarterback to possess, what do you think they usually say? Arm strength. And he showed the arm strength there. Yeah, pretty good bullet pass he threw, but he wasn't accurate, was he? No. Listen, you like mobility, but accuracy, first and foremost, is what a quarterback needs. He didn't possess it on that play. Corn now on third and goal. And this is Corn. Touchdown. Touchdown pass now for Derek Carr. And the Raiders will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it winds up in six points for the Raiders. From the six. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they're going to have terrific field position as they finally get to him, but just shy of the midfield strike. The Jaguars ready to go on offense for the final time in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Play action. It's Lawrence. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. They go play action now. Lawrence. This is caught. It's Kirk. Touchdown, Jaguars! Christian Kirk in the final seconds of the first half. And the Jaguars have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. These two teams in this first half have been fun. Back and forth, back and forth. Well, it's not fun for the defensive coordinators, but <laughs> offensive coordinators are enjoying it. Yeah, they're having streaks here, aren't they? Being able to put scores together and, and really bunch them up, and we have a tight game here. You know, we often talk about having the right shoes for the right turf. Today is track shoes. That's what we've seen with these offenses. Yeah, it's been an absolute track meet so far. Fun to watch. Couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. 
And the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first past the halfway point of the season, and now past the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Welcome back. Charles and I settled in the booth, ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Here's a handoff to Jacobs running left. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. throw on third and one and this pass broken up oh, the contact well timed there and now fourth down on fourth down the punt team is on as this is sent away the danger of a punt that good a 16 yard return and the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. Christian Kirk and company heading back onto the field. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Usually it opens it up for other people that have big games as well. Side by Kirk. And he'll be brought down at about the 23 yard line. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Patterson's kick is good. And with it, they'll take the lead at 24 21. So he's been automatic to this point of the season and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. Here's the Jaguar kick team now as they run up and send this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and they'll take over at the 25. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. And they'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr take it down. Multiple defenders in there to bring him down as his quarter comes to an end. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Here's A.J. Cole now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Agnew now to return. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50. First and 10. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up. First and 10. Right at the 50-yard line. They'll look to ETN to start things out. 
And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. They go play action with Lawrence. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. On third down, here's ETN. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They're looking at a fourth down now as they try to hold on to this lead for dear life. They're going on fourth down. Lawrence. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And the Raider D, they get the football back. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Car to throw. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And the Jags grab it. He's got room at the 30. And a great return as he takes us up just shy of the 45. Well, that simply is a missed opportunity. They're, they're in position. If they take the ball downfield and score, they got a chance to win the game. Instead, they cough it up. I don't think next week of practice is going to be a whole lot of fun for him. On the other side, no bigger time to force a turnover when you've got that small lead. Yeah, when you look at it from the, the offense's perspective, taking care of the ball is so important. I know they're going to have all kind of ball security drills in practice all next week. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ball game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Lawrence. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. So now third and 10, they had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion since. And able to find Kirk complete. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. They'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Back to throw. Lawrence. A quick throw there going to be batted away and incomplete. And a lot of being a defender is being able to learn what you can and can't get away with when in man coverage. In this case, he got away with it. It helped pop that ball free. They'll try to run with ETN. And they'll take this right in for the Jags touchdown. Travis ETN with his fourth rushing touchdown of the year. And the Jaguars will add to their fourth quarter lead. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of a tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. The return man down to a knee will come out to the 25-yard line. So Derek Carr in the offense. Down by 10. A minute eight to go. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery. But first things first. First and 10. Throwing to start the drive, but that would be incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up. 
up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Shaquille Griffin with a pick. And the Jaguars are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A big pick up there. Without question, that should be more than enough to wrap this one up. On first down, right back to ETN. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. Patterson's kick is good. And that extend their lead even further. So the defense are able to force the interception and the offense working their way to field goal range and able to get three out of it. Yeah, and give them credit for that. They took the ball, maneuvered it downfield, and while they couldn't get exactly what they wanted, which was a touchdown, they did get three points out of it. So they paid off what the defense gave them. Both sides to be thrilled with that. the Jaguar kick team now as they run up and send this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while or you call it a day? You can do that or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better as you end the, as you end the ball game. It's been a frustrating one for you. We'll see if they go back to base. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. Carr, it's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And he is into the end zone for the touchdown. So they still need a miracle with a clock where it's at, but they get one piece to the puzzle done. Still have hope. The PAT good. It would draw him closer, but hold on just a second. A flag is down on the field. Roughing the kick. Certainly, those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just There he goes left side. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a camper on this game. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that. And, you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They did a nice job on him in the first half. But there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. To the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25.
One final try now for Carr. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. Well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did that. I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory. Even better for them. So for Jacksonville, it's an important win for their postseason hopes as they at least get back to four and five. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for Las Vegas, they'll fall to five and three with a loss. And they'll have a chance at redemption next week at home against the Indianapolis Colts.